Hey, welcome back to the gay side of the internet. Today, we are going to read your letters to your younger selves. I uploaded a secret video the other day asking you guys to submit a letter. I have the document here open. In a couple of hours, there was over 150 letters submitted. So I had to hide the video and close the form earlier than I thought I was going to. So thank you so much for submitting a letter and I am so sorry in advance if I don't get to read your letter in this video. There was just so many. So I think this video will be really wholesome because not only do you get to reflect on how far you've come but also for my younger audience or anyone who feels stuck, it's gonna be really nice to hear some stories from people who have been through similar situations and have come out on the other side. Because there's so many responses, I'm totally gonna rush and roulette and just scroll through and randomly pick some. Before I read the first letter, you may have noticed that it's that time of year again. I'm wearing all purple. There's this beautiful purple fan in the background. I've done some purple makeup, I even added little sparkles. <laughs> Some of you guys might be familiar, but if not, it is Wear It Purple Day in a week's time on Friday the 25th of August. Wear It Purple Day is an LGBTQ plus awareness day. I'll be wearing purple next Friday to show my support for young queer youth. If you guys want to join in, grab out your calendars right now and write in Friday the 25th of August wear purple. I've also set up a team fundraiser. You can donate using the link below, hashtag Team Lauren Eloise. I'm hoping that we can raise a thousand dollars for Wear It Purple. It's all non-for-profit. It is 100% volunteer, youth-led and run, but that is not all. Every single person who donates to Team Lauren Eloise will go into the draw to win either a Sappho hoodie or a Sappho tee, as my little way of saying thank you. It doesn't matter how much you donate, every donation will count as one entry. So um, go for it. All the details will be on that link down in the description. So every year, Wear It Purple has a different theme and this year's theme was Write Your Story. So I thought it would be so nice if we wrote letters to our younger selves. So let's read them. <laughs> Who's gonna be the first? First letter. The first letter is from Rebecca who is 17 and identifies as a lesbian. Hey younger me, I want you to know that you don't have to hide your true identity anymore. You don't need to get the girl's toy at McDonald's. You don't need to pretend to like dolls and the color pink. You don't need to wear skinny jeans and a t-shirt to fit in with the girls. Wear what you want, express yourself, find the real you. You don't have to fake crushes on celebrities just so your friends won't think you're weird. You don't need to force yourself to date a guy just because you think that maybe you'll develop feelings for him and become normal. You don't have to do anything that hides who you truly are. Trust me, things get so much better. Love, Rebecca. That is really sweet. I really relate to that one myself. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for that. The next letter is from Dawn, who uses she, her pronouns and is a 20 year old trans woman. Dear younger me, I know things suck right now, but I promise they will get better. You will become the woman you always knew you were, even though you're pretty deep in denial of that right now. You will make good friends who accept you for who you are, you will rediscover your spirituality outside of your current abusive religion and you'll be going down a path in life that actually makes you happy. You're gonna go through a few rough breakups in terms of both platonic and romantic relationships, but that's okay because you don't need those people anyways. You'll find the right people for you and you'll find yourself as well. Oh, I love this one. I love that you also acknowledge like you're going to go through some breakups. It's not like advice, like don't bother with these people. It's like, I think of, like if I'm trying to explain my past relationships or anything that I've ever done in the past, it makes me who I am today. It's nice that you're sort of warning your younger self that, hey, things might not work out with people and that's okay, but you will grow from it. You will learn from it. Dawn, I hope things keep getting better for you. Thank you so much for submitting this letter. The next one is from Alice who uses she, her pronouns, who's 23 and is bi slash queer slash gay slash not straight. And her letter is quite short, but I actually really love this. Hey, 12 year old me, you are not just not like other girls. You're kind of gay <laughs> and you definitely have a crush on Amanda. So go talk to her. <laughs> uh, is as short and sweet as that is, I love that because maybe I feel like as a 12 year old you needed a little push to go and talk to Amanda. I definitely relate to situations in my life where I like was crushing on someone but I just didn't have the courage to just go and do something. Just go and just try it, please. So for anyone out there who is currently putting off telling a girl you like her, 
Use this letter as inspiration. Just go and talk to her. Thanks so much, Alice. <laughs> Next one is from Lake, who uses he, they pronouns, who's 23, queer trans man. I love that this is written to their 10 year old self. Dear 10 year old me, you remember that older boy you used to stare at? and that your friends used to joke you crushed on, but deep down you knew it was something else? <laughs> well, you did it. You became him. Well, not him, but your version of him. You stopped making excuses about your internal view being about being queer and accepted that you just were in the wrong body. You no longer worry about your chest being seen or your voice being too high. You now worry about remembering to shave your facial hair and taking your meds on time. Took a while, but you got there. Thank you for continuing to fight, you did it. The line of thank you for continuing to fight. There's just something about that that is so well written and I'm sure so many people will relate to this one. Thank you so much, Lake, for sharing this. The next letter is from Elena or Alina, I'm not sure which way to pronounce it, but she is 13 and is lesbian slash questioning. I want my younger self to know that it's okay not to know who you are or what label you have. Just know that you should take your time and try to learn more about the labels and yourself. Not everyone has a clear category right at the start, but there are so many you can be defined under. Stick up for the people that you trust and know and have befriended and they'll do the same. We all need to stick together. Oh. I think a lot of people struggle with labels at the start of the journey. It's like, which one, which one is me? Which one do I fit under? And this is great advice coming from someone who's so young. Go and learn about all the different labels. Maybe you think that you're lesbian, but you don't actually know the definition of pan. Go and have a read of what that might be. There's so many different ways to categorize yourself and it's only for you. Like, it's just so you have a better understanding of yourself. But if you don't find a label that doesn't work straight away, that's okay. So thank you so much, Alina, for sharing that one. The next letter to your younger self comes from Sabrina, who uses she, her pronouns and is a 16 year old trans queer woman. Sabrina writes, younger me, I know that you have feelings that confuse you and you desperately want to avoid them. And although things aren't fully figured out in our future, accepting that we are a woman is the best decision we will ever make. Deep down, you knew it. You always have, even when we were told that it was wrong. I want you to know how much happier we are, how life is worth living and how people in our life love us. Being queer is beautiful and the community that comes with it is incredible. I know we went through many challenges and ex-friends tell us that being gay is bad, but they were wrong and every part of our queer self is perfect. P.S. We make a pretty good looking woman. Ah! <laughs> This one makes me a little emotional. How tough it must be to... Uh, I know questioning your sexuality is one thing, but questioning your gender must be such a hard thing to go through. So Sabrina, I am wishing you all the best on the rest of your journey. Here's hoping that the world is becoming more and more accepting of trans people because it's people like you that are the ones that we need to protect. The next letter comes to you from Vitra, who uses she, her pronouns, is 16 and a sapphic slash lesbian. Little Vitra, hello dear, it's me, you, but five years into the future. I just wanted to say thank you for not ever giving up on your art and stories. You won't believe it, but we're going to art school tomorrow. Oh my god, <laughs> sorry, congratulations. I hope that the first couple of days were really good. Anyway, back to the letter. Don't be so hard on yourself, little Vitra, and ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. And P.S. No, you're not jealous of Meralda because she likes the same guy as you do. Dot dot dot. Have you considered dot dot dot? Maybe it's the guy you're jealous of? Just saying. <laughs> I love this! Absolutely love this letter. It's so wholesome that you're just dropping a little like, here's a little snippet into the future that life is gonna get so great for us because you're gonna go to art school. So that gives little you something to work towards. Also just the very slight hint of like, maybe just think about that it might not be the guy that you want. <laughs> It's a clever way to do it. Thank you so much, Richard, for submitting that letter. The next letter is from Pax and he uses he, him pronouns and is a 16 year old trans man and arrow ace. To myself when I was 13 to 15. Do not pressure yourself to fit in. <laughs> you don't have to fake a crush or listen to the same music as everyone else or stay with your current friends. You do not deserve to feel abnormal or invalid. Your journey is yours only and you are strong enough to get through it. Importantly, you're allowed to say no. You're allowed to have and enforce your own boundaries no matter what your family or friends say. You are Pax and you are valid as much as anyone else. Whew. 
Feel this one. That's a really strong letter, especially with the boundary things. I think a lot of us need to hear this more often than we do, but it's okay to have boundaries and you should, and it's okay to say no, and people should listen to when you say no. Don't feel pressured to do anything. Even as a 20 something year old, I need that reminder. So thank you, Pax. <laughs> by the way, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, let me know by leaving a like and please go and check out the donation link below. I'm aiming to raise $1,000. Once again, everyone who donates to Team Lauren Eloise will go in the draw to win either a Pride hoodie or the Sappho Pride shirt. I hope we can smash that goal. Next letter comes from Judy, she, her, 21 lesbian. Dear 13 year old Judy, you won't believe it, but you're 21 now and out to your entire family and all of your friends. You are able to go to Pride this year and enjoy it publicly. You're now able to listen to Girl in Red, Fletcher and Hayley Kiyoko without switching your Spotify to private. You can now tell your sister and friends which girl you like. Finally, you're now able to truly live your best life. You don't have to hide anymore. Love, 21-year-old Judy. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I reckon if I was to write a letter, mine would be very similar to this. It would be like, hey, by the way, look at all these things that you're able to do. You never thought... And I think a lot of you guys would relate to this. Like, like younger, you never thought you would be able to enjoy anything or even be out. And this is such a great example that things do get better and hopefully you will get to a place where this is possible. So Judy, I am so happy for you. Thank you. Next one from Jade, who is 16 and questioning slash lesbian uses she, her pronouns. Dear younger me, a lot of things have changed. As we grow up, we've been discovering a huge lot of stuff about us. I liked a girl pinned over her for a good long year and eventually got over her. I achieved things that I never thought I would be capable of. I met people who I'm ever so grateful for. To this day, I'm still figuring things out and I want you to know that you've got plenty of time ahead. You're young and youthful, so it's fine to step out of your comfort zone once in a while to experience life. You don't have to be scared because I know that things will eventually work out. Guys, how are you guys so good and wise with words at such young ages 16 telling yourself like you've got a lot of time yes you're so right even now as someone who's like 10 years older than you yeah we do need to step out of our comfort zones because things do work out no matter what you think everything works out everything you can learn from and yeah it's scary it is so hard to push sometimes but it's always worth it so thanks jade for that reminder next letter comes from Juliana, who uses they them pronouns and is 19, non-binary, bisexual, asexual. Juliana writes, Dear 13 year old me, you don't have to label yourself. I know you want to find the perfect fit, but the truth is the LGBTQ plus community is a very large spectrum. I know that you thought you were a lesbian because you thought bisexuality was 50-50 for girls and boys, but bisexuality can totally be like 80% girls and 20% men. That doesn't make you any less a part of this community. Brackets, I love you, Lauren, and all girl pal, and thank you for this. <laughs> this is so cute. You know what? You are so right. The community is very big. There are so many different ways that you can identify, and you don't have to have it figured out right away. It's okay to take your time. Maybe somebody needed to hear, to hear that one today, so thank you, Juliana. Our next one is from Darcy, who identifies as a lesbian, who is 19 and uses she, her pronouns. Hi, me. I know when you were 12, you had just come out and gone through a lot of bullying and homophobia. Everything's gonna get better, I promise. Even if you feel at times it may be worse, it'll be better. Don't be scared of who you are and always keep being you. Brackets, me? <laughs> this is confusing. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, Darcy, that you experienced all that bullying and homophobia. It's not fair and I really hope that by doing days like Wear a Purple Day and me just being out on the internet, making videos for you guys, making that safe space that we can eliminate that in the future. But yeah, thank you Darcy for sharing that letter. Okay, I have no idea if this is just a massive coincidence or not, but there is also another Darcy who is a 21 year old lesbian, she, her, and her letter is, Dear younger self, I just wanted you to know that there's nothing wrong with you and you were never a mistake. It's okay not to have the answers right now. You're so young, so you should really take your time and don't be too hard on yourself. Lots of love, Darcy. That's really sweet, Darcy. I couldn't have said it any better. I always get people 
asking me in my DMs, asking for advice, which is totally fine. But a lot of the time my advice is, it's okay not to know now. Figuring your sexuality out, it's a journey and it's a journey that only you can complete. I can't tell you what you are. Only you know that. And to get to that conclusion, it can take years sometimes. It took me years. It's a, it's a process. So yeah, what Darcy said, don't be too hard on yourself. I thought I would include one that is from one of you guys who are quite young. Jaden uses they them pronouns and is 11 and identifies as gender fluid lesbian. Dear younger self, it's okay to be questioning your sexuality and gender. It's okay not to be okay. Take your time, take care of your body and keep everyone close. You wouldn't believe what's happened over the past year or so. You'll change and so will your friends. Two that you keep close will upset you, but that's okay. Enjoy life. You never know what happens. Times will slash are getting tough, but it'll all work out. <laughs> I want you to know you're not sure anymore. <laughs> also, you don't need to come out to your parents. You're not ready, nor am I. Buckle up for your future and continue listening to Melanie Martinez. P.S. Melanie released a new album, Get Excited. XOXO, future self. <laughs> That's really cute. It's totally something I would have written as well as an 11 year old. Like, hey, this is a chance to tell younger self that a new album will be coming out. I really appreciate that you know that you aren't ready to come out and you accept that and that's okay. It's absolutely okay to take your time. Okay, so I found a letter from someone who is 38, Nicole, who uses she, her pronouns and identifies as a lesbian. Nicole says, Dear younger me, don't worry, it's okay to be gay. The fallout you expect with your family does happen, but it is not as bad as you imagine by half. You do meet a lovely girl who becomes your wife and her family takes you under their wing. Oh man. And you do get to have a lovely little house with your wife surrounded by animals. Life has ups and downs, but what you dared not to dream did come true. Look after yourself. Oh! Ah, I am so happy for you. Thanks so much, Nicole, for sharing this from such a more wise and more progressed point of view. Like, I think this is something I would have loved to hear as a younger person being like, guess what? Like, you get a wife and you get a house and you're surrounded by animals. You have your own dogs or whatever it is. Maybe I should write a letter to my younger self. You want to do it on the spot? Let's do it on the spot. All right. <laughs> this could go terribly, but Dear younger me, I want you to know that one, you're gay. I know you're questioning yourself right now and you're probably going to keep questioning yourself for a few years, but to save you some time, you're a lesbian. <laughs> yes, you're in love with your best friend, but you knew that already, so don't take my word for it. And yes, you will date her and it will be fun, but she will break your heart. You will learn so much from it and even uh, and after that, when it is least expected, somebody else will walk into your life. You will make it to 25. I know you never thought you'd make it past 18. And also, you will get over your depression. I know that your depression is extremely severe and chronic right now. You can go to the doctor by yourself, by the way. You don't have to have your mum go in the room with you, so do that. Also, don't see the first therapist the doctor gives you. See the next one, because the next one is so much better than the first. Just forget about the first one. She sucks. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to end on this one, which comes from Owen, who uses he, him pronouns, who is 20 and identifies as gay. Dear younger me, I want you to know that everything you're questioning right now is okay. High school is confusing enough, but the thought of being gay adds even more stress to your life. But just breathe it's going to be okay. Just know that once you finish school, you have the most amazing friends who will help you discover who you are. They showed you makeup and you finally kissed your first boy. You're gay. Just embrace it and be proud of it because it's the best thing to happen in your life. I love the last line of this. It is the best thing that will happen in your life. Owen is completely right with this. Once you accept yourself for who you are, it's the best thing you can do for yourself. It is the most fairest Thing. You deserve all the happiness and all the love in the world. Oh man, this video has got me all warmed and fuzzy feeling. <laughs> I've been waiting to do that the whole video. <laughs> Don't forget, next Friday is Wear a Purple Day. Make sure you write it in your calendars. Chuck on some purple clothes and don't forget to check out the donation link below in the description. Every donation counts. Thank you so much for submitting your letters in this video. 
I appreciate it. I hope you love this. This time last year, I made a video where I read my baby gay diaries. This one will make you feel even better because it will make you feel not alone, but also gives you insight into how my brain was like as a younger person as well. But, but go and watch that one. Until the next video, stay safe. Love you guys so much. Bye.